Hi there! Today we're talking all about feet. Ooh, we're gonna get a nice little tender love and care footwork program, okay? My name's Gretchen McCarthy and I'm a Pilates instructor and what I see a lot is misaligned feet. So what does that mean? Well, that means back issues, hip and knee issues, even neck issues. So how you stand on your feet is what going to recruit different muscles that lead all the way up to the pelvis, which go all the way up to the spine that can reach all the way up to the neck. So let's say you stand inward with your, with, with, which is called pronated where your feet, the weight on your feet is towards the inward of your arches, or you stand with the weight sort of on the outsides of your feet. So if you think about it all the way up the leg, that's gonna use different leg muscles. So it's gonna pull your pelvis into different positions. And so sometimes when you have a pain somewhere else in your body, it could be so much about the foundation of your body, your feet. Yes, your foundation. So what do feet do? Feet move, a, move us from place to place. Feet hold up our whole body, all that body weight. And what do we do to them? We stick them in shoes. We stand on them for hours a day. We walk on concrete. We do all of these things and our tootsies are just like, please help me, please help me. So that's what this program's all about. We're gonna learn how, what's the proper alignment of the foot. We're gonna try to keep them flexible by certain exercises, but you gotta make sure you're doing the exercises in the proper alignment. You also wanna make sure that the, there's proper alignment in your legs as you're doing it as well. And that's what we'll talk about in this program. So let's head on over and do some footwork. Okay, so we're gonna do some, some exercises. I'm gonna be out of the screen because I'm gonna be standing up, but I want you to be able to see my feet. And then I'll come back down to the mat for some final exercises. All right, so what I want you to do is I want you to stand up so that you can lean against the wall for some balance. All right, so you're gonna stand with your feet neutral. And what does that mean? It means I want the whole weight on the whole ball of your foot. So from the big toe all the way to the little toe, you want weight on your ball of your foot. So you don't want to sickle inward, you don't want to sickle outward, stay nice and center. Okay, and you also want the weight in the center of your heel. All right, so think about those points. All the way through the ball of the foot to the center of the heel, staying equal. All right, try to get your pelvis neutral. So meaning, I don't want you to stick that tailbone out, I don't want you to stick it too far under, get it straight down to the floor as you're standing. Belly in, shoulders back, neck long. Try not to look at your feet if you can. Maybe do this in front of a mirror so that you can look forward. All right, so now what I want you to do is really staying um, on the ball of the foot, I want you to try to lift all 10 toes and then lower them down, okay? Nothing else in your body moves. You're just lifting the toes and bringing them down. Do about eight to 10 of those and lower. And then what I want you to do is you're gonna lift and then you're gonna try to individually put your, your toes down from the big toe all the way to the little toe. So feeling that articulation. Doing about eight to 10 of these. Be careful that your femurs don't go inward or outward. Really try to stay nice and centered so the hip, knee, and ankle are all aligned. Paying attention to that. And then you can reverse it, going down pinky first and articulating. So about eight to 10 of those. All right, and then we're gonna lift the heels. You're gonna lift the heels up only as high as you can stay on the whole ball of your foot. So you don't want to go outward, you don't want to go inward, really. Whole ball of your foot and then lower. And also you want to make sure the femurs aren't turning inward or outward. And you're holding a wall for balance. Eight to ten of those. And then you're going to switch and do some running. Good. And then come down. All right, so now what I want you to do, you're gonna do a little inchworm. So you're gonna kind of lift your arches up and pull your heels towards your toes, keeping the ball of the foot down, and then release. Again, pulling the arches up, pulling the heel towards the ball of the foot, and then release. About eight to 10 of those. You might feel a little cramping on these, but we really wanna work the arch muscles, and then release. All right, you can put a, ta uh, a towel or a sock down, and you wanna try grabbing the sock with the ball of your foot, squeezing, holding it for a few seconds, and then release. Again, pulling and grabbing and holding and lifting. You can bend your knee if you want and release. So do eight to 10 on each foot. All right. Trying not to like lean too much. Really try to stay as neutral as you can. So eight to 10 of those, okay? And then you can put that sock to the side. 
And then what I want you to do is try to grab like a cushion. You can do this if you have small stairs. I just don't want too big of a step where like your heels don't make contact with the floor. I mean, it's sort of okay if they don't, but it's nice to have that support. So the whole ball of your foot goes on the cushion and then you're gonna lift up to where you stay sort of neutral in those legs and pelvis. Stay equal weight in the whole ball of your foot. And now this just gives you more range of motion going down and up. And also gives you a nice little uh, calf stretch and ankle stretch down and up. So it's just like what you did before, but now you're elevated. And then you're gonna work some running. And you wanna be careful that you don't lock out the knee that's straight and don't hyperextend. So you really wanna stay active in the core, keeping the pelvis neutral. All right, so you can do a few of these, whatever feels good, and then release. All right, then what I want you to do, you're gonna go down on the mat, okay? Sitting up nice and neutral, so you're on both butt bones, and then you're, you can sort of lean back a little bit with the weight on your hands. You want to get your feet so they're hip distant apart. Okay, make sure you can see me here. And then you're just gonna flex and point. Keep the shoulders out of your ears, keep your belly tight. As you flex your feet, get all 10 toes towards your chest, not just your big toes. You'll notice how it's a little bit harder to get those pinkies to you as well. Keep your heels down. So that's why you hear that little noise. Really want to keep your heels down throughout the whole process. Don't lift them up. So flex and point a few here. And then hold the flexion and then just roll your toes down and sort of make little fists with your feet and then roll it back up. Again, curl down and sort of make a fist. You're not really pointing yet. It's just the toes going down and up. And you'll feel that muscle in the arch squeeze. All right, and then you're gonna go down, so do eight to 10 of those, and then you're gonna go into the point, and then pull the toes in and flex. Okay, they might cramp a little bit, just sort of work, take a break, and then work through it again. Keep their heels down and flex. So about eight to 10 of those, okay? And then what I want you to do is squeeze your legs together. So now everything's squeezed all the way up to the inner thigh. All right, and you're going to point your toes, and then you're gonna turn out from the hip. So I've wrapped open from here, inner thighs stay together, heels stay together, heels stay down, and then pull up into flexion, and then wrap and squeeze it together. So it's really coming from the hip, but you're also working at the ankle joint. Turn from the hip, flex from the ankle, pull together. Point, open, flex together, then reverse it, Turn it out, point it, bring it together, okay? And then release, and then you can like kind of flex and point, flex and point, and then shake it out. Nice, easy, released legs. Just really let it go, let it go, let it go. Shake, 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 shake. Good job. All right, so you can pick sort of whatever exercises you like from this routine. You can do the whole treat routine, whatever you want. Just remember, you, you probably haven't done anything for your feet so any little bit will count you also might want to work your way up to the full series because you might be cramping a lot just listen to your body whatever feels good but just remember to try to ease your way into these don't force anything all right and i would love to hear your comments on how your feet are feeling after doing this for a few days all right so thanks for joining me i'll see you next week with a new routine and have a great week take care